Hello everyone. I'm just getting signed on. Uh, sorry I'm a couple minutes late. I wanted to be all ready for this. Um, our oven went out. So we're trying to deal with that right now and uh, decide whether we get it fixed or we take the plunge and buy a new one, which yikes. Happy Merry Christmas to me. That's not what I wanted, but that's all right. So I'm just getting my other device set up here. Happy Veterans Day to all of you that have served or are serving in the military. I do not take my freedoms lightly, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I think we're ready to go. So tonight is my Triple T Thursday, which I'll show you tricks, tips, and techniques. Um, actually, tonight I have a tip for you, and then we're going to make a card as well. So um, I wanted to show you, too, this weekend um, I went to my sister-in-law's in Frankfurt, and we uh, I picked up another sister-in-law on the way, and we had another friend that joined us and we stamped all day Sunday and um, just played and tried different techniques. And um, so I wanted to show you some of the things that I cut out. I didn't I didn't do a lot of any um, completed projects, but I did. Um, this is from the Baubles die and this is in Blushing Bride. And then this is in the real red. Sorry, I'm trying to position this. And the soft succulent. And this is a uh, cherry cobbler. And then there was this other paper. Um, I want to show it. Okay. So this is the um, ombre specialty paper. So it has it has some pretty bold colors in it. Um, let me open it and show you. And I thought, what am I ever going to use this for? So it has um, the red. The yellow, it's pretty bright. The purple, and then it had the blue. And I thought, ooh, the blue might be pretty in a bauble. And keep in mind, it's ombre, and this is how it turned out. It is absolutely stunning. Can you see the sparkle in it? I don't know if you can or not. There you go. So that's with that ombre paper. And I thought, oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. So we had a ball making those. Some of the some of the dies um, poking out the, you know, the intricate parts um, takes a little bit of time. But for the most part, it popped out really easily. Um, and then also, the next thing I want to tell you is hello Sue thank you for watching when you hop on say hello and tell me where you're from I like to see what how far I reach um, if, you know if I'm just within Michigan or outside of Michigan or how far across the country I can get 
and I know Sue's in Virginia, and uh, that's quite a ways. So um, I wanted to tell you about two specials that Stampin' Up! is doing. So right now, you can purchase the starter kit for $75, and that includes free shipping. It's normally $99, and you get, a, you get to choose $125 worth of product out of the current catalogs. That can be the mini catalog and or the annual catalog. So it's a wonderful time to, to purchase that. It's a huge savings. Um, you also get a free paper pumpkin kit in, in with your starter kit. So you get $75. For $75, you get $125 worth of product. Anything you want to choose. You, Stampin' Up! does not pick it. You do. And a free paper pumpkin and free shipping. Now, if that is through the end of the month, November 30th. Now, starting November 16th through the 18th, Stampin' Up! is also having what they call a seasonal sale. The seasonal sale is 10% off a of cardstock, 15% off of uh, ink pads, and 20% off of dies. Now, if you join, if you buy the starter kit by the 16th of November, you can turn around and not even get not only get the 10, 15, and 20% off of those items, but you can get 20% off more um, from your um, demonstrator discount. So that is a huge, huge savings. So um, if, if you've ever thought about purchasing the kit or if you need a lot of supplies, this is the time to do it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Nancy, hello. Um, I just went over the starter kit purchase, the special, and I want you to go back and watch the replay, watch the beginning of this, because I think you'll be very interested. Um, Stampin' Up! is having a seasonal sale November 16th through the 18th, so you'll want to watch that um, because you can get your demonstrator discount on top of that if you purchase the starter kit before that. Robin, I know I've talked to you. Hello from Texas. Yay! I'm in three states. I'm excited. So um, I know I've talked to you about the starter kit before. Right now, it's a great time. It, even if you just need product, um, it's $75, free shipping. You get to pick $125 worth of product out of the current catalogs. Plus, Stampin' Up! is having their seasonal sale. Uh, November 16th through the 18th, 10% uh, off a of cardstock, 15% off of ink pads, and 20% off of dies. Um, if you um, purchase the starter kit by the 16th, you can also get your 20% discount on top of those other seasonal discounts. So it's a huge savings, great time to buy that starter kit if you're interested. Let me know if you are and I'll help you out with that. So, um, I did show the baubles that we made this weekend at my sister-in-law's Nancy's. And I'll show them again. And the real red. And the soft succulent. These are all dyes. Enjoy. And then... Mary Bright, and that has sparkly paper. That's the ombre specialty paper. So that die, um, November 16th through the 18th, you can get for 20% off. So um, if that's something that's on your wish list, make sure you um, look into that. That's a good time to purchase it. So tonight, the tip I'm going to show you is... Um, If, how many have used um, Stampin' Ups embossing folders? Um, I have several of them, and um, they are beautiful. I love them. I love the 3D. Um, on the embossing folder at the bottom, let me see. Can we see that? There is a line and then the logo, and then another line. So can you see that? Oh, maybe you can see that better. There you go. So um, 
that line is so you line up your paper and it's not crooked. I did not ever know that until my upline told me that. So some of the dyes, it doesn't matter. But on this, die, this particular die that I'm showing you, it has words. So of course you don't want your words going on an angle. You want them going straight across. So when you do that, you line up that paper on that line and then you run it through your embossing machine. Make sure you run it through with the um, hinge, hinge part, the part that folds, um, going into the machine first. And I'm not going to um, do, do this on the table because I'll shake you and you'll get seasick. So I'm going to go over here and run it through my machine over here. So then you can see the embossing and it's straight. Okay. Um, another one that I have that requires it to be pretty straight is the bricks. The bricks is a beautiful embossing folder too. And if you have not seen it, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually going to do it this way. So this one, I'm actually going to purposely put it in Cricut. So you can see why you don't want to do that, why you want to use that line to line it up and get it straight. So if you're making a card and you have this brick background and you're gonna put a window on it or uh, flowers or something or a flower pot, you obviously don't want your bricks going downhill. <laughs> That would be pretty bad. You want it to go straight. So um, if you line it up with that line, you won't get this problem of it going downhill. Now, if you're going down a hill like in San Francisco, this might be okay, but you don't know that from this piece of paper. So um, just a little tip. Use that line on the bottom of the embossing folder to line up. Um, to make sure it goes through straight. Okay, set that aside. Okay, um, what is an upline? Okay, Nancy, an upline is um, who I signed up under. So um, Rhonda is my upline. Um, that who That's who I signed up under. Um, she guides me. She answers questions that I don't know the answers to. Um, and she helps me and she encourages me and she teaches me. Um, and actually my upline, Rhonda, is incredible. She is a, she is a force to be reckoned with. She is, um, she's a great leader. She leads by example. She doesn't ask you or tell you to do anything that she has not already done or is doing in her business. And she is a hard worker and she's dedicated. She loves what she does and she loves each one of her team members. So that is incredible. So if you were to purchase the starter kit, I would be your upline if you signed up under me. So I, Rhonda's my upline, I'm her downline. So anyone that purchased the starter kit from me, you're my downline and I can have three levels. So I would have you, and then if someone signed up under you, that would be my second level. And if someone signed up under them, they would be my third level. Um, my levels, <laughs> Rhonda sounds like me. Um, I think Rhonda's better than me. I really do. She's awesome. And um, um, so if you signed up under me, you do get access to Rhonda. You get access to her trainings, her her website and everything. Hello, Sharon. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, so we are going to make a card tonight um, because we got to have some creativity. Another T, not really starts with the, the word doesn't start with it, but anyway, 
Um, so I'm going to point you down uh, to my work surface. And hopefully um, you can see that. Okay. So tonight we're going to use um, soft succulent, a full sheet of um, cardstock. Um, I saw this um, on a on a post, and I loved it. And I actually made this this weekend, and um, um, loved it. Gave it to my friend Carol, and she loved it. So I was very excited. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score this. I'm going to score a big um, cross, if you will, in it. So I'm going to score it at four and a quarter, going the long way. And then I'm going to score it at five and a half, going the short way. Okay? Now I want to cut one of those panels out. So I'm actually going to leave this at five and a half. And I'm going to cut up to the four and the quarter mark. So you see this um, ruler here? and I put that uh, tear and tape under it, that makes those numbers stand right out, okay? All right, I'm gonna cut that up to the four and a quarter mark, which is right where the um, score line is. And then I'm going to turn it and put it at four and a quarter. And I'm going to actually put it up at the five and a half and come down. And then I'm going to just take that little piece out so we have something that looks like that, okay? Move this over here. All right. So I want to fold this up. And I want to fold this over. And I'm rocking the table. I'm sorry. Okay. So we have something like that. And I'm going to burnish the edges. I'm going to use my bone folder so that I get a nice crease on that. Okay. After that, um, on the front, I'm going to take... Um, this is soft succulent. This is one of the in colors this year, and this is pale papaya. And I'm actually going to run this pale papaya through um, the painted texture embossing folder. This is one of my favorites. I, I love all of them, but this is one of my favorites. I'm going to line it up on that line again. And I'm going to run it through the embossing machine. And then it looks like that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Then I'm going to adhere this um, with my stamp and seal to the front of the card. And I didn't tell you the measurement of this pale papaya. It is three and three quarters inches by five. Okay. Then I have a stamp set that um, I got for um, my on stage, which is tonight. On stage is a like a convention, Stampin' Up! convention. They used to have it in Utah every year, but because of COVID, they do they um, do it virtually now. So that starts tonight, and it runs through Saturday. 
So I have a new stamp set and a new um, die that matches it. And it's called um, Blessings of Home. And then the um, dies that coordinate with it are Flowers of Home. So those, that's that, that's that set, that bundle. And what I did is I stamped it and then I colored it with my blends and then I ran it through the dye machine um, to cut it out. I did not fussy cut it. Thank goodness. So my blends that I used, I used the soft succulent for the leaves. I used the pale papaya for some of the flowers, the polished pink for some of the flowers, and those are all in colors for this year. And then I used so saffron, the dark so saffron for the center of the flowers. The blends are alcohol blends, so um, they, they will bleed through the back sometimes. So you always want to have something on the back to, you know, like this to finish it off. Um, and you also want to use your Memento ink to stamp the image before you color it. Um, if you use the Memento black ink, the blends do not smear your image, your outline. Um, if you were to use a regular um, stamp pad, um, they sometimes can um, uh, blur. So I'm actually going to put some dimensionals, because you know I love my dimensionals, on here. To pop that up, give it dimension, make it come alive, all that good stuff. How's everyone's weather? We are getting rain and wind, and I guess by Sunday, snow. Um, all right, so I'm going to put that there, like that. And then um, from my... Um, potted succulent dies. I'm using a die um, that looks like this and it punches out like that. And I'm going to use from my Happy Thoughts um, stamp set, I'm going to use the thank you. And I'm actually going to Stamp this in the soft succulent ink. Pop it at the end, flip it over, slide it. We went through that those tips the other, was it two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. So I've got thank you. I'm just going to line that up in the center. Very nice. I'm going to close this because I don't want to put my hands and fingers in it. And then I want to also pop this up with dimensionals. I'm just going to put it down here. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Cute card right now, right? All right, well, we're, we need a wow factor. So I'm opening it up, just opening it up. And on this piece, this piece that folds, fold it up, I'm going to put a piece of pale papaya on there. And I did not emboss it. I'm just going to have it flat. The reason being this card's going to be pretty thick anyway. And if I want to, um, um, mail it through the mail, it's going to take extra postage. So I want to be careful about that. And then I'm going to just take this other flower that I already stamped, colored, and cut out with a die. And I'm going to put that right there. 
And then on the inside, I want to take a piece of white cardstock. And this again is the three and three fourths by five. The pale papaya is four inches by five and a quarter. All right. So I'm going to use again my happy thoughts. The little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. I love that. Um, let me find it. Oh, this is really sticky in here. There we go. Okay. This is just going to fit across there. Okay, so again, I want to take my soft succulent. And I want to just um, tap, tap, tap. You don't want to push in it and smear it. You just want to tap, tap, tap. Like you're kissing it slightly. And then line it up as best you can. And this is going to go end to end. this up and then I'm going to put this on that pale papaya piece and then I'm going to put the pale papaya inside the card right inside here So I have these um, in-color jewels that I want to make sure that I put some sparkle in it. So I'm taking my Take Your Pick tool and I'm going to pick up these gems. Actually, I don't want to use this end. I want to use the putty end. It's going to be so much easier. So this putty that's on the end is pretty dry, so I'm just going to roll it up and get a little bit more on there. And I think I'm going to take a soft succulent one and a yellow one. Okay. And then on the front, I want to add some too. Put it in the pink, polished pink. Um... soft succulent. I think I want another polished pink. There we go. All right. So we have our card. And let me show you what it ended up being. So it's thank you. And then you open it this way. And you have just a simple flower. And then you open it this way. The little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. And then there's room for you to write here. Now, of course, you could decorate on this side. You could decorate down here. Um, and that fits in your standard envelope, your A2 envelope. So do you like this? Sue says it's 75 degrees in Virginia. Oh my goodness, you lucky girl. All right, let me point you back up to me. Hello. So did you like the card? I hope you did. It's definitely a different technique. Um, Nancy, thank you. I do love this card. It's... Um, it's gorgeous, so um, I had fun with it. 
Um, if you have any questions, let me know if you want to, uh, if you have questions about the starter kit or the special that's coming up November 16th through the 18th, message me. I'll be happy to help you with any of that. Um, and as always, if you have any questions about Stampin' Up, let me know. Um, it is very pretty. Where was I when you made it while well, I'm at my house? Um, you were probably waiting on people, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what you did all weekend. Um, but I did make a card for um, Carol, and hers is in purple. Actually, the um, the uh, Fresh Freesia uh, color, which is another in color. And, um, yeah, it. you might not have even been around. You might have been. It was right before she left. So you were downstairs, I think, cleaning up dinner maybe, or I don't know. But um, we can make another one when I come back and we stamp together again. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to answer them. And you have a wonderful evening. Thank you again, veterans, for your service. And um, I appreciate that. My freedoms, I do not take lightly. So have a great night and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.